Hello everyone, this is Soren the Eagle, and welcome to my mod spotlight of Pluscraft. It's a fairly small mod, and it adds quite a lot right now, actually, and I think it's very useful. And as you can see, I've been having quite a bit of fun of it, fun with it. But right now, I'm just going to be reviewing the tools, and in the next episode, I will be reviewing the blocks. So let's get down to it. These, this mod has, you know, your average stuff. It has your armor made from an the antimatter and, you know, basic tools. And I'd like to point out, um, before we get too far into it, that NEI does not work with these yet for some unknown reason. I'm sure it needs, like, a plug-in or something. Uh, not really sure how the background coding of NEI works. So... Just know there are recipes on the mod topic when you have a need for them. But with that being said, let's get into it by starting off with the antimatter hammer. The hammer is just a nice mining tool. You know, mine's really fast. And that's all fine and dandy, but the best part about it is, is that it not only does not take damage, but by right-clicking, you can do this, and you can get a lot of resources really fast. Just by clicking away like that, I have gotten about two stacks of sandstone, so that's definitely very powerful. This here is the antimatter rock. It's exactly like the hammer, except it does not mine. It's just meant for... It's really just meant for right-clicking. And that's pretty much all that it is to that. Now this here is the Lear of Building, and this is personally my favorite, because it lets me finish structures like a snap. It's a piece of cake with this thing. All you have to do is just right click somewhere and a tower of stone pops up. You just keep right clicking and more stone towers pop up. But if you right click on the side of a block this nice little right angle structure will pop up. It makes it really easy to expand Ah, your structures, but it can also be a bit dangerous because, as you just saw, that can happen, and you can end up suffocating if you don't have a pickaxe on you. That can mine you out before you suffocate. Now, it is a bit OP because, one, it doesn't take damage, but, two, it also produces all the stone completely for free. It's not coming from my inventory or anything. So just keep that in mind when you're clicking away. And it is stone, I do know that, but eventually it's going to be abused somehow, just like even the smallest things have been abused, like the blaze rod recipe and equivalent exchange has been abused many times over. Now this thing, I know will be abused because it produces lava for free, and a lot of mods use lava as a power source. And by using a deployer with this or some other um, machine that right clicks stuff for you you could just have infinite lava since this doesn't take any power just like the layer of building and it has absolutely no damage value but you're probably gonna hurt yourself with this really fast because it's really fun it's actually unbelievably fun but you get the idea now this is the water orb, and I have no issue with it because water is an infinite source anyways. So you can just right click wherever you want with this and it will make water, and since it in it's infinite, who really cares? This is another really fun tool for when you're mining. In fact, since it's getting dark, it'll be much better to demonstrate it. All you have to do is right click and it will place a torch completely free. But Right-clicking it on it again will change it to a redstone torch, and right-clicking again to a glowstone block, and then a pumpkin, actually not a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern, to fire, 
back to glowstone to a torch. And so that's really useful for when you're mining or for when you're building too. And I suppose you could use it to get free redstone torches, but there's an even better tool for that. And that is the redstone plus tool. And all you have to do with this is here. is right click with it and it'll make your nice little redstone if you right click on the redstone it'll create a redstone torch or a redstone block to nothing and that is very useful especially if you're building the one thing it doesn't do is repeaters which it's kind of unfortunate, but it's not like they're all that hard to get. Or um, the uh, the new block that takes two inputs, I think it's called the comparator. Yeah, it doesn't do that either. But I'm sure the mod author can add it in. But for now, suck it up. This here is the rail plus tool, and it's really useful for when you're building like your really long roller coasters and you don't feel like making lots and lots of rails because you have railcraft installed and it can be a pain. But now all you have to do is right click and your rails are placed. You can right click on those rails again to transform them into detector rails and then advanced rails and so on and so forth. So that's always nice. But there is still one more tool, and that is the Traps Plus book. And all you have to do is right click with this, it places TNT. Right click again, places more TNT. You can continue changing it into redstone torches and pressure plates. Heavy pressure plates. And this will probably be abused because you can change it into freaking gold plates and someone could use like an uncrafting table to get free gold but I suppose that does cost experience but you know it's still just the principle of the thing and now there is one more thing uh... no wait yeah here it is the XP battery and this is just like your generic experience battery thing it just stores your experience on right click and gives it back to you on right click really useful and I assume it's not working because I'm in creative mode right now but that's pretty much all that's in the mod right now aside from the actual blocks which there's quite a lot in block wise but that's for another episode so until then, I am Soren the Eagle, and goodbye.